Welcome back, guys. I'm so glad that we're together again today. In today's Big God Story, we're going to learn about how God provides. Last week, we saw God lead the Israelites out of Egypt, and this week, we're going to see how he provided for them while they were in the desert. But before we get started, let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we are so thankful that you cared for the Israelites and that you also care for each of us too. We're grateful that you love us and that you know exactly what we need. I ask that you would open our hearts and that you would focus our minds to hear from your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, today we are going to practice our memory verse. And if you guys remember, it comes from 1 John 4, 14. Ready? And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. That's good news. Now, let's sing it so we'll get it stuck in our heads and in our hearts. Let's stand up. You are mine. In the 
endless joy and perfect peace Your earthly pain finally will cease Celebrate, Jesus is alive in the wardrobe of wonder. Wow, that looks like a honey jar. That's exciting. I wonder where we'll see a honey jar in today's story. Let's pay close attention and see if we can find the honey jar. Let's go. Chloe, look who's here. Oh, <laughs> hello, it's you. Welcome to Cooking with Chloe. I'm Chloe, and this is my friend, Alex. <laughs> She's helping me out today. Hi, friends. Today on Cooking with Chloe, we're making muffins. muffins. Yum. So, what do we do first? Um, Alex? Yes, Chloe? I don't know how to make muffins. Uh-oh, that is a problem. Yes. Alex, who usually helps you cook at your house? Someone in your family, like like a mommy or a daddy? Yes, we can call my dad for help. Yeah! Dad? I'm trying to make muffins with Chloe, but we don't know how. Can you come over and help us? Could you also bring the ingredients we need to make muffins? You will? Thanks! That was fast! Hi, Chloe. Hi, Alex. Hi, friends. Hello, Mr. Jim. Hi, Dad. Well, I think I've got everything we need to make our muffins. I, I brought oatmeal and flour and eggs and honey and butter. Wow! Mr. Jim thought of everything. The way Mr. Jim helped us when we called him reminds me of how God provided for his children, the people of Israel, when they were wandering in the desert for 40 years. They prayed to God their father and he listened to their cries for help, just like Mr. Jim did for us today. Well, God is an amazing father. He sure is, Mr. Jim. Okay, let's get to making some muffins. Uh, oh, I love butter. More butter is better. <laughs> and honey, let's add the entire jar of honey. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. The recipe only calls for a half a cup of honey and a half a cup of butter, so if we add too much, the muffins won't taste very good. Oh. Sorry. But the good news is, I brought measuring cups. <laughs> now, let me ask you guys, while we were making our muffins, do you want me to tell you some more of the big God story? 
Okay, well, Chloe, I know that you were talking about God's special people, the Israelites, wandering in the desert for a long time. Well, while they were wandering for 40 years, God was with them. And during the day, he was with them through a cloud that looked like a pillar or a column. And at night, he was with them through fire. Wow, that's amazing. 40 years is a long time to stay with someone. It is a long time, but God was with them. Did you know that God loved his people even more than we love our own families? Wow, that is a lot of love. Yeah, it's a lot of love. And he loved them so much that he wanted to make sure that they had everything they could possibly need while they were out in the desert wilderness. What's a wilderness? That's a place where nobody lives. Oh. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Out in the wilderness, do you think they had food? Do you think they had a bunch of restaurants or grocery stores to go to? No, Mr. No. No. All that was out in the desert wilderness was just a bunch of sand. And so, how would God lead his people for miles and miles and miles through a bunch of sand with no food? Like, what were they going to eat? Hmm. I don't know. Well, God was going to do something amazing. He was going to do something that no one had ever seen before and has never seen since. He was going to give them something to eat, and it was called manna. Manna? I've never heard of manna. Me neither. What is it? Well, I'm glad you asked, Chloe, because to the Israelites, manna meant, what is it? And they called it, what is it? Because manna had never existed in the world before. It had never existed before, and it's never existed since. So get this, the only people who have ever tasted or seen manna with their eyes were the Israelites, God's special people. And he did that for them as a way to care for them while they were wandering around the desert for so long. What an awesome God. He is the best father. He's an awesome God. There's no one like him. Dad, what did manna taste like? I'm glad you asked, Alex. Well, the Bible says that it was kind of flaky, like kind of like the flakes we're putting in our muffins. But the best thing is that it, it was really, really sweet. The Bible says that manna tasted a lot like, like honey. I love honey. It's so yummy. The Israelites got to eat this honey-flavored manna every day for 40 years straight. But now, how do you think God gave them this manna? Did he mail it to them? Okay, that's funny. But God did something amazing. So every morning when the Israelites would wake up, and they're stretching, just waking up and they kind of peer out their tents and they look out and all over the ground is manna covering everything. God had sent manna from heaven the night before. That sounds like a miracle. It was a miracle, Alex. And so what God would do is he would give them just enough manna and he would say, I want you to gather manna just for your family and just enough for this day. So when someone would say, I just want to gather a little bit extra for themselves, guess what would happen? The manna would get all smelly and worms would grow in it. Ew! Why did it go bad? Well, God was trying to teach them to rely on him. And he wanted them to trust that he was going to provide enough for the next day. And that's why he gave those rules. God sure knows how to care for his people. That's right, Chloe. God's our father and he takes care of us. And he was... He was getting his people ready to go into the promised land. See, a long time ago, God had promised Abraham that he was going to make his family into this great nation. But first, they had to spend time getting to know God, getting to learn how to trust him and how to obey him. So that once they got into the promised land, all the other nations around everywhere else would look at God's special people and go, wow, I want to know the one true God too. Wow, I want to know the one true God too. Well, Alex, you can. And, and you can, Chloe, and, and all your friends can. Because God wasn't just a father to the Israelites. God sent his son Jesus into the world so that anyone, not just the Israelites, could get to know him and then be a part of God's special family. So he's our father too, and we get to be his kids? Yeah. When we come to know and follow Jesus, we become part of his family. So what do we do as a part of God's special family? Well, God's given us a very special job to go and tell others about Jesus and share God's love. And so when we go out and we share God's love with other people, then they'll want to know him and also be a part of his family. That sounds like fun. Well, it is fun, Chloe. 
And because God's our Father, He gives us everything we need to go out and serve Him and share God's love with other people. And as our Father, God actually helps us share with others what He's like. And all we have to do is ask, what needs to be done? So what needs to be done? We tell the world about God and how much He loves everyone. And that He's our Father? Yes. Ah, and it looks like right now, it's time for us to eat some muffins. Bye, friends. What a story! God loved the Israelites so much that he fed them each day with sweet, delicious manna. God loves us too, and when we need something, we can always go to him. He wants to hear from us, and he loves to give us good things, and he is good. Thank you guys so much for worshiping with us today. I hope that you have a great week and that you'll meet us here again next week. Bye, guys!